Today we are going to start a new video series and that is about how to build a dashboard in Angular and using some APIs and all. But we are going to start after the intro. Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristic. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, algorithms, and lots of other frameworks so please consider subscribing if you haven't yet so this is a new video series apart from angular so in this series i only focus we will be on developing a dashboard in angular by using some node apis so those api also we'll going to develop and by the way we're going to use chart.js to build our charts and graph you can go they have pretty awesome stuffs they have a lot of uh, cool type of animation like bubble chart and bar chart they have eight to nine types of charts which uh, we can use in our uh, dashboard actually the, da the dashboard uh, creation is re requested by one of my viewer one of you guys that is subham so in today's video our only focus will be how to configure our application so that uh, you can uh, use the chart.js in your application and I will show you a simple chart that uh, you that's that's all about how you can figure and in the further video we'll go ahead and build the whole dashboard uh, and that too that will be helpful too by calling some APIs and all this is a app I created as a name is dashboard from angular CLI if you don't know those things how to create an app and all you can check my angular tutorial series that you will be pretty clear on that so to use chart.js in our application we need chart.js to be downloaded to the application right so for that npm you can write i for install i will go ahead and install then chart.js if you are using a newer version of node like npm like 6 and above you don't need to write dash dash save it will by default will going to save in your package.json but if you are not using your if your node version is below four six i think below six it will not going to do so it's safer to give save but if if you are starting now you are you, you eventually it will going to be the new newer version so save is optional here So as you saw it's got installed so in today's video we are going to implement a simple line chart so that you guys will be clear how to configure and how to set the data and all so we're going to implement not this the data will be different color will be different so this is the chart.js example so this is a basic line chart so you're going to implement that one here so for that the first one we need to import the chart So for the time sake, I will paste some code here and I will explain you that one. So the chart I created as an empty array that will hold all the data and all the things about the chart. So what we are doing, we are in a, instantiating a new chart object and we are, we are giving a canvas here. The canvas is nothing but the ID of the canvas from your HTML that we are going to implement in after some time it has some parameter the second the first I will be the ID second will be the object and then object need to be, need to have you can if you want to check yourself like if you want to develop just go to the view page source okay so here you can see it has a type of line in data so the same thing we are going to use okay so we have a type of line line chart and the data we are providing again if you go here the data has a label it has a January February March and April so for I am just giving a basic demo so I am not using any data just a random data the, the are the levels so so data set will be your the items like uh, uh, how many date lines you want to display in your chart that those are the array of data set here we are giving two lines 
so this is la uh, two bar will come here so what i am doing i just added a random data in the real scenario we will get it from the back end server that we will going to we implement all these things in the next videos and we are giving a background color of red and we have a border color of red we are giving a feel to false feel means i will let you know this one i will make uh, one true and one is false so the first line which will be red the feel is true and second line will be red is feel is false so in the second to differentiate the data why did i just reverse that array so it will be a mirror kind of thing you can say so for that now what we need we need a canvas uh, in the uh, html okay and and as you uh, as i already told you this will first one is the id of the canvas so we'll go ahead and add the id here as uh, id equals to and this will be the canvas will go here and we will give a width of uh, to the div width so is the define the how much width the canvas should be so that the chart can be rendered so i am giving around 50 percent width of width of a window so for that will be better to visible so now if we uh, go to the browser we'll see that we got the data okay so, and it has also has an animation you can see this popping off uh, so we get the data there uh, if you if you remember i make a, a uh, field true for the red and field false for the blue one so fill means the it will fill the whole area below that one so if i go ahead and make it false the both false then now everything will be uh, only a line not a not a prop area kind of thing so you know that how you just configure a chart how you give give a data here we'll slowly slowly we'll going to build all the things how to face from a logs all the views and all everything we will going to implement so please subscribe to the channel if you want to see all these things and that's it for today you learn today that how you can configure your application with the chart.js and how you can use a simple graph to only to the basic of how you can add a chart in your application and provide your random data it will be more structure in the further videos so please like the video if you liked it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and please share this video among your friend we are going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye